Hi everybody, so sorry my camera died. I don't know where I left off, but yeah, this whole situation with my husband, he's a US Marine here in Hawaii. Um, we're supposed to be getting a divorce, but we have a no contact order that was placed by his first sergeant and his first sergeant, Mr. Kern, is doing nothing at all to really help out. Maybe he is, maybe he isn't. It's been seven weeks. He's not updating me at all. And I have to practically beg him to freaking tell me what's going on, right? And I'm not that bitch. I'm not that bitch to be like sitting like waiting and waiting no bitch like i need some updates i need some updates come on maybe it's because i have a bachelor's degree maybe it's because i i like i'm a bitch who likes shit to get done like maybe that's why i don't know but um i'm looking for resources everyone's telling me contact the the commanding officer contact them. okay like i asked mr first sergeant twice to freaking get me the first the commanding officer's number and he is not giving it to me. I asked him, give me the master sergeant's number. He's not giving it to me. I called PMO. PMO is not giving it to me. Like, I don't know why you niggas don't want to freaking um give me the master sergeant's number or the commanding officer's number. Like we all three in that group don't have a fucking bachelor's. But anyways. So um, I reached out to this other source and he basically told me, he basically told me, this is like really nerve wracking. I reached out to another source and he told me to contact Congress, a US Senator in Hawaii. They're both Democrats, I'm a Democrat, but, <laughs> Guys, I never get nervous. My whole butthole's on Pornhub. Like, I don't get nervous. I'm not that girl to get nervous at all. Um, because I meet a lot of cool people, and a lot of them already know me, and they already like me. So it's like, who am I impressing? Who do I have to be cool for? They already think I'm like the coolest person ever. But um, me and a Congress man, I'm shy. I'm intimidated. And I hate my husband's command for having to put me in this situation where I feel less than because I'm gonna be talking to someone who's a congressman and I'm nervous because I'm like, how do I talk to them? I feel like I can dress cute and I can dress nice and we can like, you know, have, you know, like be face to face, but like, I just don't wanna fuck it up when I open my mouth and be like, so they is not doing anything, you know, so like I'm a little nervous. Um, I feel really small in this type of situation, but I feel like, you know what, guys, I knew this was a possibility. I am a woman who works multiple jobs and I guess this is one of my other things that I have to squeeze into my personal life and my professional life. But um, yeah, I'm not getting spousal support from my husband. I'm not, even though the base command of Hawaii told me he was gonna have to give me spousal support when I move out. And I moved out thinking that because that's what I was told by the base command, Mr. 06. And guess what, I moved out. And I let them know before I was gonna move out and still nothing. Nothing. I'm getting no spouse support. Um, me and my husband have a no contact order because he threatened me. And uh, we're trying to get a divorce and our only source of communication is the first sergeant. And the first sergeant, Mr. Kern, is not making any progress to communicate any updates that Brian has been doing. Um, my husband, Brian DeGenecio, is doing so I don't know what's going on with that. I'm getting no peace of mind. I'm being de-shined um, by the military, my husband's command. So guys, I'm really intimidated to have to go to Congress. And I have a feeling that Congress may shut me down <laughs> because I do adult content. But if Congress 
is those people who are supposed to intimidate the military because of bad press and because of you know what the hell are you all not doing your jobs for um i feel like they might turn me down because i do adult content and maybe that's not something that a u.s senator may want to be representing or kind of like supporting and you know i'm just not like the perfect cutout cookie i get that <sighs> have a music video and it's recorded and I'm really hesitant to not drop it because I feel like it's vulgar me Donna Alatami I think my music video is vulgar and obviously it's a diss track it's not supposed to be respectful at all and I think it's not respectful at all and I think it's very vulgar and then again it's a diss track so that's you know what it's supposed to be but I love the military. I love the Army branch, the Navy, the Space Force, uh, um, all of those branches. And especially the Marines will have a special place in my heart because I married a Marine. And y'all, Marines are just the most elegant, the most like sharp looking ones. like. Marines are the real motherfuckers and like the real like you know like the boss bosses you know like of the ranches in my opinion I love the military I love the USA I love America I do more than anybody like I love America like y'all do not know how much I love the USA like yes I was not born here I am naturalized like it's not like I'm born here and I'm American like no I genuinely really from my heart wanted to be an American and now that I am an American an American is my personality you know I love the USA I love paying my taxes on time I love paying taxes I love all that and I love the military and although I was not the biggest Trump supporter when Trump was elected to be president I knew that from that moment, it's time to support and encourage anything that he is wanting to do, you know, moving forward because that's our president. And as a U.S. citizen, you have to support and believe and like, you know, cheer on like for the U.S. and for him to, you know, do better for the U.S. I love the U.S. So don't think like I'm some hater or military hater. No, being a porn star is one of my coolest titles being a sister being a daughter all of those are really really nice ass motherfucking titles but being a military spouse a marine spouse a marine wife a lance corporal wife a corporal wife and then a sergeant wife soon to be corporal wife again because someone wants to misbehave i loved being a military spouse i loved encouraging my husband to do great i loved congratulating him on all his successes he was my dream like as a latina coming to the u.s marrying a latino who is in the military wow that is the big cup home for me in my whole life so it sucks that it had to go ugly, but now shit's getting fucking ugly. So now people are telling me to go to Congress. And if Congress do not want to help me, that's going to really freaking suck because I feel like me dropping my music video will shine some light into the military to look into me and realize that i am crying for help and i am i'm crying like hey i was getting abused y'all knew i was getting abused and y'all still let this guy be cool and running around hey guess what he threatened to kill me help me y'all did not want to help me i had to get an investigator the investigator was like yo dummies dummies look this shit and then the military did something finally 
And now, here we are. I am a spouse, active duty spouse. I'm getting no financial help, even though I was told by the base command and my husband's first sergeant, Mr. Kern, I'm not getting that help. And I'm not, I promise you guys, when I get divorced from Brian, I'll never talk about him ever again. I promise. You can put that on the divorce clause if you want, okay? But I won't talk about him ever again. No, I'm not being assisted. Y'all put a no contact order between me and my husband. I'm not being assisted to fucking get a divorce from him. So, yeah, it's going to be Congress. I'm nervous because I don't know how to talk. Um... And the music video, I realize now that by the end of July, if Mr. First Sergeant Kern and his... Oh my gosh, should I just make a video directly <laughs> to the base command? <laughs> Be like, hey, um, July, end of July. I strongly feel like if I'm not getting help, it's going to have to push me to drop my music video, which I find very vulgar. And that will definitely get people to talk about what is going on with me because I'm not getting help. Legal MCBH is not helping. Legal at Pearl Harbor is not freaking helping. PMO at MCBH, Marine Base Hawaii is not helping. They're not being helpful at all. CID was not helpful. My husband's command, extremely not helpful. I have yet to talk to my husband's commanding officers. I would love to talk to you if you see this video. The master sergeant, I don't know who the hell you are. I would love to talk to you. The gunny, he's another airhead in my opinion. Um, right next to Mr. First Sergeant. So, yeah, guys, and I got told by many people, you're making fun of the military, <sighs> sweetheart. I'm not making fun of the military. I'm not the one to make fun of the military. I am, I was made fun of by the military, and now I am clapping back, like my butt is clapping back. Anyways, yeah. God, I don't know what the hell I'm getting myself into. I don't know what the fuck is going to happen. I don't know. I just know that this got really ugly really, really, really fast. Hi, everybody. I'm Dana Latavi, and oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm trying to get a divorce, right? So... I got served divorce papers, which is, you know, really good. And I declined them because Bryant said, what is his is his and what is mine is mine. But according to my bank account, aka Bank of America, I, me and him bought a car together and I paid half of the car off. So the car is 43000 I paid half of the car, which was 20000 And... Now that we're getting a divorce, I want half the car or the money I put in. And it makes sense because when you get divorced, you get, you split everything, right? I'm so gassy. That was a wet one. So, um, now Bryant doesn't want to sign the divorce agreement because in the divorce agreements, I'm putting that he has to give me half the car or the 20K back. And he doesn't want to sign it because he got NJP'd. He got NJP'd. And when you get NJP'd, um, in the Marines, you can only get NJP'd twice. And he already got NJP'd once. So, bada bing, bada bang. It might happen sooner or later depending how we want to play these cards like you want to be a nice guy and sign the paper so i can live my life and you can live your life like you are and like how i is i is like how i am like what i've been doing what we've been doing because okay so it's, now it's june 2022 we've been like not really together um since he deployed december 2021 20, December 28th, 2021. So, like, 
yeah, like now that he's back here, you know, he came back in June. He should sign the papers so we can go our separate ways. But no, he's not signing because he knows once he signs, he's going to owe money. Or he's going to have to lose his car. And honestly, Brian is 29. He has no debt. I mean, sorry, he has a lot of debt. He has no savings. He has nothing. He's just... He's just who the fuck he is, and him splitting up half the car. Is <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay.